Hi, welcome back to the part two. In part one, I told you about the different variations of personal suffixes depending on the vowel harmony of rules. Now we're going to look at the variations. Let me share my screen with you. So here is a table of um, personal suffixes. As you see, there are four vowel variations for each personal pronoun, except onlar, they. So we have either ler or lar. I'll explain in logic how we uh, get to choose either of them. It's very simple. And here you see there, there are two different consonant selections. So either with the D sound or T sound. And uh, in Turkish, we have consonant harmony rule as well. Uh, but this is too much for now. So you can forget this. Okay. Don't, don't worry about this for now. Let's focus on the vowel variation and how to choose which one is correct. Okay, so here is a table of all the vowels in Turkish. If the ending vowel of a word is a or ö, as an example here, çalışkan, the ending vowel is a, then we will choose the personal suffix that contains ı vowel. So here you see there are four vowel selections. So you choose the one with ı. Okay. So what happens when we speak it for each personal pronoun? So let's do it. Ben çalışkanım, sen çalışkansın, o çalışkan, you can drop the personal suffix for o, biz çalışkanız, siz çalışkansınız, onlar çalışkanlar. So, as I told you before here, we have two selections for on large, either R with R or R, and you get to choose it depending on the um, vowel, either if it's, if it's a soft vowel or a hard vowel. So, here, çalışkan is a hard vowel, so you choose lash, okay? But if it was öğrenci, i, or öğretmen, as an, as an example here, we choose e because it's a soft vowel, okay? So we looked at this example in the previous session, so I'm going to skip that one. Let's have a look at the next. Here, with ending vowel, O or U. So we choose consonant, sorry, vowel U. So here is again the huge list. Sorry. Okay. So here is the so list of the suffixes. You just choose the one that contains with that contains U. You see? Here, here. All. And because o, i, u, and o, i, they're hard vowels, you will choose large for on large. Okay. So let's do it together with personal pronouns. I hope you have memorized them already. Okay. Repeat it with me, please. Ben uzunum, sen uzunsun, o, Uzun, biz uzunuz, siz uzunsunuz, onlar uzunlar. Okay, next we have an example 
with an ending vowel, u uh, or u. So we're going to choose the suffix with, that contains u vowel. So here is the huge list again. So you get, you'll get choose only the one with u over here. Okay. And this, which one you choose here? If it's u, is it soft or hard vowel? It is soft vowel, so you will choose e, lash. Okay. So here is the word that contains u, Turk which means Turkish. Okay, so let's go. Ben, Türküm. Sen, Türksün. O, Türk. Biz, Türküz. Siz, Türksünüz. Onlar, Türkler. Okay. So, um, it's very logical if you can follow the vowel harmony and you have your list open with you, if possible, print it out. Uh, first, try to practice by writing uh, some examples and find a word in Turkish and, and, and then try to apply each suffix. First, looking at the table and then and based on your memory, what you can remember. And I have a question uh, in the examples here. So there, there are four words and they all apply to me except one. And which one doesn't apply to me? Ben, Türküm, uh, Uzunum, Öğretmenim ve what was the last one? Let me see. Yeah. Çalışkanım. So, which one doesn't apply to me? Let's see. I will see you in the next with a new video. I'm looking forward to your comments down in the um, in below. Görüşürüz. Bye-bye.